Good morning, folks. We've got several science stories to hit today, including Nova events, gamma signatures, a weird sight at a young stellar system. We're also going to see the sun in several ways. So let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. The limb eruptions have continued, the solar flaring has made it to low M-class range at its peaks, and the coronal holes are small. The incoming limb on the left has been the home of continued eruptive activity, especially from plasma filaments, while the departing limb on the right has been the home of several low M-class flaring events over the last day. All were impulsive, not directly facing Earth. The solar flaring has a decent chance to continue today and perhaps even become slightly larger due to the plethora of sunspots. While the northern bunch we watched the last eight days is departing, there's still a considerable number of active regions on the Earth facing half of the sun. We will be monitoring them all closely here today. First up in the articles is a strange gamma source behind the galactic plane from our solar system's perspective. They have found high cosmic rays in this general area before, but cannot actually account for the source at first. They thought it might be related to an equally confusing feature in the microwave dipole, but it doesn't line up well for that. For now, we've got another mystery in space to add to the list. Next, a very strange feature in a young system has astronomers reaching for answers here as well. A second tilted disk and a cattail-like feature of dust that is hard to explain is seen in the system. They think maybe some kind of unusual collision caused it, which I have to say doesn't make a lot of sense, but either way, certainly one of the weirdest dust features I've ever seen in a stellar disk. Lastly, folks, we've got two papers on recurrent nova events. First, we've got yet another one discovered in Andromeda. Their ability to spot repeating stellar nova blasts in our sister galaxy has gotten quite good. They are so much more common than they had believed just a few years ago. And speaking of recurrent nova events, turns out that the super remnants are just too difficult to see. These are not supernova blasts, they're much smaller, many of them on the micronova scale that we believe our sun can do, and it looks like those remnants are simply too faint to be spotted in all but the biggest blast cases, which answers the question of why we don't see more of them. It's an easter egg for channel veterans, if you know, you know. We greatly appreciate your support, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30am in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.